So, I may just have made the completely mad decision to rearrange my bookshelves. It is Friday night, it's 10.30 at night. And let's put it this way, my mood is rubbish, I'm angry annoyed. So, when I'm like this I tend to do things like compulsively tidy my room. Don't know why, just do. I have excess energy, I need to burn it off somehow. One of the only things I can do that involves moving at this time of night is tidy. My clothes pile isn't looking particularly appealing, so here we are. It's also partially because these are the books that were not on my bookshelves. Like, there's not room on these bookshelves for these books. I need to do something about it. So I'm going to take them all off and I'm going to resort them into books I've read and books I haven't read. And when I say books I haven't read, I include books I have not finished. Because there's a lot of books I've started to read. And I'm going to make a proper decision on whether I am keeping things or not. And then I'm probably going to move some of my shelves onto different places because some of these have got kind of damaged over the years. So, yeah. Here we go. I need to go and get a box or a bag to put in the things I take off my bookshelves that I have decorated them. So, here we go. I'll probably be finished and probably get to bedtime in like three hours' time and I won't be done. I won't be done, but. Oh well. Feeling overwhelmed. I removed all my books from my bookshelves. Apart from two that I need to get from over there and put straight on that shelf up there. But. Well this was my bed I've put back one shelf which is all my non-fiction things but yeah this is it and the split is that and that going that direction I've not read that pile and this part I've read. Uh, that's one that's going to get rid of. That's 13 books I've got rid of. These are my old books and one big one that goes on the bottom. I need to deal with those and those going down last. So yeah. I'm now going to have to do... I'm now going to do my books I've read. But these are this side. I want them on these shelves. And I want my TBR to be on that one and the probably those two. I don't know. Overwhelmed. <laughs> it's my exact feelings right now. <laughs> Why did I decide this was a good idea? Have you, it's done taking an hour so far. I've had to move my shelves, my bottom shelf, this one, up as well because it wouldn't stay on the lower settings, I've actually lost all that room. So yeah, let's go. I look hot and exhausted and sweaty because I am. Turns out I have not read anywhere near half of my books. Just saying it out like this is kind of scary because this is probably Look at how many new ones there are in here, there's quite a few, it's probably like a couple of hundred of pounds worth of books that I've not read. This is all laid out in alphabetical, so I just put them on my shelf, but I had like two rows of red. And this is my non-red. I don't know how it's going to fit on there, there, and there. And I've got rid of quite a few. I'm getting rid of this one. Okay, that's one more gone. I'm just looking at these and I don't actually know if there's any I want to get rid of. Someone sent some help, please. It's done. It took three hours. It's now 1.30 in the morning. 
I'm going to bed. I'll show you in the morning what it looks like. I don't know if that was made sense or was coherent, so goodbye. So I'm here looking much more alive than I was last night when I finished doing my shelves. So I'm going to show you them now. Okay, let me come. This might be a bit shaky because I have to stand on my bed. Ooh. Almost lost my schoolwork. It's on my foot. Okay, no, we're fine. Okay, top shelf we've got some of my children's books I still own and love. And then we get into scrapbook stuff, school stuff, and more memories. And then on this shelf we are starting with the red books in alphabetical order. This is my fiction that I have read. Goes got quite a lot of my favourites actually on here. Got Call Me by Your Name. The beginning of the world in the middle of the night. The Black Magician trilogy, which is actually in the wrong order, but oh well. Fire by Christian Kishore. This is another Trudy Caliban book called, no it's not going to say, it's kind of a precursor to the magicians. The Black Magician trilogy set quite well before. And we've got some Elizabeth, three Elizabeth Chadwick books, which I love. Shadows and Strongholds might be my favourite. We've got the Artemis Fowl books that I own, and these two are, and this one is. I love that series. I read the whole thing, I just don't own them all. And personally, these are the first three are the best covers. Then we've got my Cassandra Clare books I've read. I read the first three. I'm going to reread these. I've got The Clockwork Prince, which is my favourite out of these two series, which are the ones I've read. I've got The Girls by Emma Klein, which I loved for the poetry collection. That was a present from my grandparents. We're on all my favourites here. What Katie did, I absolutely loved. The, what's this, what is this truly? Oh, The Book of Pelennor series, which is one of my favourites. Daughter of the Sunset Isles, which I love. <laughs> Ingo, which was my one of my favourite series. I wanted to be the main character. Ink Death, which is part of the Ink Heart, Ink Spell, Ink Death trilogy, which again I loved. And this copy is absolutely gorgeous. Got Voice of Aspen, which again I love. I should probably look up and see if she's written more. And then we've got Snow Child which is an illustrated book and is gorgeous. And then we get and move on to my favourite series of all time. This is my Ring to Apprentice series that I'm currently reading. I'm going to read number two next. So I've got all ten books in that series and these. Like, this is my new copy of the first book because as you can tell my old one literally died, it's no longer attached to its colour. we got The Secret Garden, one of my two copies, my other one's on the shelf above. I love this book. Um, Silver Horse, I loved growing up. Apache, one of my favourite books as well. She was such a strong character. I wanted to be her again. Then we've got some of the Skullduggery Pleasant ones. Some I, some I bought, some I haven't. But as you can see, I read it all the way through. And there's a new one that's been released this year, and I'm really tempted to buy it. And then we got Black Vodka, which is the first Deborah. Levy book I read and absolutely love. I currently I just finished reading The Cost of Living by her and I'm currently reading Swimming Home. And then we've got my Stephanie Mayer books I've kept because I loved the host. This is the graphic novel version of Twilight, which I think is I still enjoy. It's one of those things I've Guilty Pleasure Reads and The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, which when I read I absolutely loved. And we've got I Believe in Unicorns by Michael Morpog, which is a little illustrated children's book. I've got Song of Achilles, which I read this year, along with Circe must be two of my favourite books that I read. I've got Moak Show, which I read as a child is absolutely terrifying, but the author came to the school, so I read it there. 
I read it's got Airborne, which again, well loved. The female character in this, whose name I'm briefly forgetting, I also wanted to be because she was a scientist. And I loved her. We got the Circle of Magic, which is the only Tamora Pierce book that I own. We got my Percy Jackson series, and the last one, which again, that I read and loved. And I filled so much I only just read recently. And we got Tale of Beasle and Bard, which is good. I just like the kind of like the history of they created. 33 Revolutions, which I read last month and I really enjoyed. We got um, The Dark Satanic Mills by Marcus Sedgwick and the Ki Killing the Dead by Marcus Sedgwick, who is again another one of my favourite authors. He writes really creepy things really well. Then we are on to the last of the books that I have read. Got Far From Phoenix, which is one of my favourite books of the year. Poison Study. By Maria V. Schneider, I've read all her books, I think. Then we got Slaughterhouse Five and Breakfast of Champions, which I read for my book club, both of which I really enjoyed. And then we are on to all my own read books, which is more than half. Got a couple of poetry anthologies, a book of short stories from Myanmar. Two collections, Five People Need in Heaven, which I really want to read by Mitch Album, because we read oh, it's other book for the book club. I can't remember what it's called, but it was really good. And my bookshelf is already falling apart again. God damn it. This is not good. Was it two? Oh, I probably squished that one in. I shouldn't have. Okay, I'll have to move these along. And then we got The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. I've never read either the Gresha trilogy or um, the duology. But the short story collection sounds good. They've got a random sci fi book, Alice in Wonderland, and Through the Looking Glass, which I've never read, though I love the film. They've got Nagva Christie, Century of. Lost Souls, which I can't remember if I read or not, so it's down here, and I'm planning on rereading these this year. And then we've got the her latest tri trilogy, is it? The Dark Artifices, which I've not yet read because I need to finish reading the Shadow Hunters series because I never finished it. Got The Alchemist, which was also for my book club, but I didn't finish. Generation X. Some of these, I read most of this. The truth about the Harry Cubert affair, but I never finished it and I really want to. Some historical fiction, some more fantasy. This one looks from my dad, but I need to get the rest in the series first. Um, Messenger of Fear by Michael Grant, which I know I'll love because I read his, what was it, Gone series? and loved it. Oh no, this is in the wrong section. I read this. Damn it. Yeah. There's no room. Okay, I'll have to say that for now. Earthly Quartet, which I've read the first two in, and the f first one is one of my favourite stories of all time. And got more Ursula Le Guin, which I've started. A couple of series, some Old oh, books, Robin Hobb that I've never actually read. I've tried multiple times, but not got on with it. Completely on the road by Jack Kerouac that I've read about a half of. More kind of random books. Illuminate, which I've never finished. And we're into non-fiction. Are these my last fiction I've not Read. I've not didn't finish to kill a mockingbird. I've not don't think I've read either the Queen of Shadow or Emperor of Storms. But down here are the ones I've read Gerald Darrell, which I loved. Rebecca Stone, it's Hope in the Dark, Liam by Shirley Sandberg. I should probably read that again soon. Deborah Lee for the Cost of Living, which I loved. And Frank Dreaming Thinking Writing, which made me cry. 
And then we move into more fiction I haven't read. Most of these are ocean related, ocean, sea, more Gerald to Darrell, nature. Then I read this one, so it's in the wrong section. But, well, then we've got the Susan Cain books about the English that I've not read. Um, the Unwomenly Face Watch I've read quite a bit of, but it's very hard reading. Like Albertine Clothes Boys Music, which I've read again half of. Um, Reason for Hope, which I really want to read this year by Jane Goodall. And then, oh, a rubber. More books on nature. This I've read 11 Exploitations into Life on Earth Christmas lecture. I've read about half of it, it's really good. More it's oceans and animals. <laughs> it literally is. Oceans, oceans, sea, deep. Orcas, so oceans, lagoon, oceans. <laughs> As a theme, and then we get into more reference style books, and then down here, which you can't really see, we have my illustrated Harry Potters. I have to find that out to get actually get to these, but they've got these are the more reference books from when I was younger and more recently. And we got old annuals, these are really old, these are some of these Victorian. Moving on to more annuals, I've got a whole stack of girls' annuals and then other different girls' annuals. And then we have over here the rest of my unread fiction, which is actually stacked. You won't be able to see it, but too deep because there was lots of room and this is a stack of big books which actually all of these I want to get to really soon. And we've also got things like The Name of the Wind, Carry On, She which I'm really excited to read soon, and more Marcus Sedgwick, Shelley's poetical works and Annie Smith that I've not read any of but I'm really excited to read so yeah. That is it. My shelves organised. Oh, and the pile that didn't go on. This pile did not fit on my shelves. But I also got rid of. More, I got rid of more books than there are books in the pile that I didn't fill my shelf, so I did good. And then there's also a pile of probably about 10 books that are books I'm currently reading that need to go on my shelves at some point as read or unread. So there's probably about 20 books that didn't fit on my shelves, but that's much better than it was before. And once I've got through my library books that I've got out now, I'm really going to try and read my bookshelves because I've got I've got more than half my books on my bookshelves I've not read so I need to do something about that. So bye. I hope you enjoyed my probably at times slightly delirious bookshelf reorganising. I'm going to go. I've got schools to do. So I'll see you next time. Bye.